Hello students, before going over to the next question, I'd like to request you to go through the playlist featuring the previous year's solved physics numerical board questions. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. Please make sure that you practice all of them before going to the exam. Hello students, welcome back. Let's go and have a look at the next question. It's a question from this year's sample paper and it reads like a piece of wire of resistance R is cut into three equal parts. These parts are then connected in parallel. If the equivalent resistance of this parallel combination is R1, what's the ratio? What's the value of the ratio? R1 is to R. Okay. So here in this question, we have a wire whose resistance is R. Okay. Now this wire is cut into three equal parts. So here we have this wire cut into three equal parts and then each part is connected in parallel. We know that resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. Now, if the total length was L and it is cut into three parts. So now each part becomes L by 3, L by 3 and L by 3. Since resistance is directly proportional to the length. So if length is reduced to one third, the resistance of each part also will reduce to one third. So now the resistance of each part becomes R by 3, R by 3 and R by 3. So now we have these three resistors R by 3, R by 3 and the third R by 3, they are connected in parallel. So we have to find out the equivalent resistance of this. Now it's given that the equivalent resistance of this is R1. So we have to find out the ratio of this equivalent resistance which we get after connecting these wires in parallel to the, the original value of the resistor that is R. Alright, so let's find out. Now we know the resistance in parallel, the formula is given by 1 by Rp is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 and so on. Now here equivalent resistance is given as 1 by R1. So R1 is the equivalent resistance after we connect the three resistors in parallel. Now the value of each resistor R1 is so here there are three resistors you can see R1, R2 and R3 and each of them has a value of R by 3 ohm. So if I write for the first one this one is R1, this is R2 and this one is R3. So now R1 has a value of R by 3, R2 has a value R by 3 and R3 has a value R by 3. So here it will be 3 by R plus 3 by R plus 3 by R which is 9 by R. So here we get 1 by R1 is 9 by R or R1 is R by 9. So this is the value of the equivalent resistance of the three wires whose resistance is R by 3 and they are connected in parallel. Now we have to find out the ratio of R1 is to R. So R1 by R is equal to now here R by 9 divided by R value is the original value that is R. So here we get R by 9 R. So R R gets cancelled. So R1 by R is 1 by 9. So this implies the value R1 is to R is 1 is to 9. So this is the answer to our question that is 1 by 9. Now let me teach you an easy method to find out the equivalent resistance if a certain number of equivalent resistors are connected in parallel. If n number of equivalent resistors are connected in parallel. So if there are certain number of resistors of equal value remember that this formula can be applied only if the resistance values are same. Okay. So here there are three resistors and each have the same value R. So how to find out what is the equivalent resistance of this circuit for a parallel circuit. The equivalent resistance is given by 1 by Rp is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 and so on. Now if there are n number of resistors here we have taken for understanding three resistors but if there are n number of resistors so it will be n times there are n resistors, so it will be n times. 
So now this will be 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus and so on 1 by Rn. Alright. So now if the value of each resistor is the same. So now R1 will be equal to R2 will be equal to R3 and so on the Rn also will have the same value. So we can write 1 by R for all the resistors because each of them has the same value. So it will be 1 by R up to n times. So it will be 1 by R into n that is n by R. So 1 by Rp is n by R. So this implies resistances in parallel will be R by n. That is if a certain number of equivalent resistances are connected in parallel then the formula using which you can find out easily is Rp that is the resistance in parallel is given by the value of each resistor divided by the number of resistors. So using this you can find out easily instead of having to do the long calculation. So you see here if we do this question instead of doing in such a lengthy process if I write here Rp will be R value. What is the value of R in this case? Because there are three resistance and each has a value of R by 3. So I write here R by 3 and how many resistors are there? They are 3 in number. So I write here 3. The number of resistors and the value of each resistor. So it is R by 9. So Rp is R by 9. Here the equivalent resistance is given here R1. So I write here R1 is R by 9 or R1 by R is 1 by 9 or R1 is to R is 1 is to 9. So this is an easier way of solving this using this formula. So if we summarize this formula, it comes to be re equivalent resistance in parallel is given by the value of each resistor divided by the number of resistance. So you can use this formula to solve the questions easily when a certain number of equivalent resistors are connected in parallel. So I hope you have understood this formula and also the solution to this question. If you found this video helpful, please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.